Welcome back! So, I've got something I need to mention here before I do anything else, because at the end of the last video I made it sound like I was just gonna wander around and then uh, record as soon as I found something. Well, I had a thought, and I think I mentioned at the end of the last video, I said something about going back to Meriloft, and the more I thought about it um, after I recorded, I thought to myself, the game wouldn't just let you go back there for no reason at all, right? So, I'm guessing whatever the answer is to this riddle that we have to solve, somehow it must be up there. And we haven't really talked to anybody since we basically got that ladder down from Harmony's place, so there might be something new that we can do there. So, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and head back. Um, I don't think Curtis is anything new, but I'll just kind of say hi to him anyway real quick, just to be on the safe side. Hey, Bella. Hey, Curtis. Um, oh yeah, maybe we can ask him if he knows what the answer to the riddle is. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. Wait, is she one of the two girls that was at the entrance to the pyramid? I, I know they, men they mentioned their names, right? Was Becky one of them? Because that sounds familiar. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. My memory's failing me right now, guys. I'm sorry. I it's been a few days since I recorded the last video and I totally forgot what their names were and whatnot. I'm still wondering, okay, what is the point of getting the stained glass piece? What do we need to do with the snake down there? Because that is uh that, that just can't be there for no reason. That there's gotta be a purpose for that. Alright, now, do we have Cloud Shoes with us? Here we go. Just my size. Perfect. Oh, he's calling out for Fether. <laughs> I think he can stay up there for a little bit. The question, though, is... is anyone else aware of the fact that he's stuck? Let's see if they know anything. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Oh, okay, I guess not. Um, that was the path that went over to that giant tree where we found Gus, right? This... Where did this go? I can't remember where this ladder went. Oh, right. This is where she was uh, sitting. Let's see if uh, she might know something. Hi. Hi. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Aww. I feel so bad for her. Okay. So the only other person is McGee, right? And Mom. Let's see if Mom knows something. Carl. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's skip that. I totally did not see that hole there. Even though there was nice, obvious light there, I didn't well, see that. I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. I guess not. Okay. Nothing here either. This is not exactly the most productive video ever, I gotta admit. Okay, McGee, you're the only other person here who uh, might have something, right? So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. No? <gasps> okay. Really? There's gotta be something we can do here, right? The, the game would not allow me to come back here for no other reason. I still don't see anything here. It's empty. That's because we plundered it. All right. I don't really see anything else we could do. I guess we could go back to the area where we found Gus, but hmm. I'm just trying to think of, wh like, what other things we might be able to do. Do we have something that could help with the snake? Because I don't think any of... 
Wait a minute, this is that... that holy tear gas thing, right? I wonder where we could get that. Because I haven't seen anything around here that could qualify as holy tear gas. Hey, Jesse. I'm going to invade your nest here for a little bit. Don't mind me. I, I got into it. Out of all the locations in the game, I, I really like this one a lot. It's just so unique and interesting. Okay, have, have I missed something over here? Is there something here that's new? And that was a dead end, right? I mean, there's nothing over here. Wait a minute. Is there something here? I guess we can't go any further. Arbitrary invisible walls for the win. Nope, nothing here. Okay, so... Yeah, I am seriously stuck. Why can we go back to Mariloft? I mean, what is the point of coming back here when we can talk to nobody? Unless we're supposed to give one of these items to somebody, but... Oh, driftwood. So driftwood. smooth. What would driftwood be useful for up here? Then this is the art thing, stained glass painting. I don't know. I'm seriously stuck. I... I don't think anybody here needed any of these things, right? Well, you know, maybe I should just start randomly trying to give them to people. I mean, you never can tell, right? Okay, let's start with these guys. You guys want a cool helmet? Our premier suits give us all the protection we need. Mine's a helmet and also underwear. I didn't need to know that. Nah, I think they'd break it. Good point. Driftwood? Wanna see what I found on the beach? Ugh, ick. If it came from smell now, we don't want it. Ooh, I guess they don't like uh, shell mounds. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. You guys know anything about Art? Oh, yeah, I know Art. He moved away. He's back to calling himself Bart now. <laughs> I love this game's sense of humor. It's just, it's so fun. It, it, I don't know, it just has this really fun screwball sense of humor. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. Okay, I, I just wanted to see if I can hand her stuff. Need a bucket? I'm kind of wearing a bucket. Oh, yeah. Good point. What about this? No way. It's too pretty. I'm keeping it. Hey, if I gave you some wood, could you make me something? Sure. How about a nice pair of shoes in three weeks? Never mind. Okay. I doubt this is going to work, right? I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Hey, you don't know anything about art, do you? Oh, so shoemaking's not an art, is it? Uh, never mind. Sheesh. Maybe we have to find out about this thing. I, I get the impression that that's going to be our objective. I mean, because Curtis didn't know anything about it, if I remember correctly. And maybe whatever it is, it is, is somehow connected to the uh, riddle. Maybe there's somebody here who knows about art. Maybe she knows about art. Hey, let's see. Do you know about this? I don't even know your name. Maybe it would make things more cheerful around here if I hung some art. Maybe it would make things more cheerful if I hung myself. Whoa. Hey, that's Aww. a little dark. Sorry. I didn't really mean it. I wish there was more we could do for her. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Driftwood? I don't think driftwood would help there. No way. It's too pretty. I You look like you're going to be sick. Need a bucket? No. I made sure to barf before the feast. Alright, at least we're hearing all these messages that the game so kindly put in here uh, for all these contingencies. I do like it when a game has that much attention to detail, it's, it's really nice to see that. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Okay. The only other person's McGee, I mean, I don't see Fathur anywhere around. 
Well, just where did he go? So what's new? Well, I'll leave you. Okay. Need a bucket for like mopping or something? No thanks. I'm really more. Nope. No way. It's too pretty. I'm keeping it. Need any wood? Maybe for making brooms? Nah, I think old Betsy here has a few more years left in her. Good for Betsy. And I think she's just gonna give us the same message for this, right? I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Want some art? Nah, uh-uh. No! Oh, you had me on the edge of my seat there. Okay, okay, okay. Right now, I cannot think of a single other person we can talk to here. I mean, th these two are together, so I think anything we do for one, the other will follow. Um, Jesse... I mean, we can't really talk to Jesse, so I doubt something will really happen with her. Um, none of the other birds have really done anything for us, so I doubt that anything different would happen for them. Now, we can't go back up there, can we? Okay, so I guess this whole trip was pretty much pointless. Alright, let me try to think here. The other thing, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the other thing that we uh, haven't really followed up on is that tree outside. What can we do for that tree? If anything, I don't, I mean, he's not just going to be there for no reason. I keep saying that, but, you know, that is adventure game logic, though. I mean, it makes sense. Hmm. Well, this used to be his, so... You sure you don't want this art? No, you ruined it. I ruined it? Why, because the tree saw it? Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I oh. like to spread my samples around. That's right, because he needed the wood. Right. Okay, so who needs a stool? I know somebody needed a stool, and I've forgotten who that was. Um, did somebody up in uh, up there in Mariloft need a stool? I'm trying to think. Okay, are you going to comment on this? You know, that Curtis looks like such a slacker. But he sure can bust out a solid stool. The only thing I remember about a stool was earlier um, he mentioned that he could make one with the wood, but I don't know what good that's going to do us, though. Alright, I'm just going to look around here some more. I feel like we got all these leads we could follow up on, but we don't really have the tools with which to do it. At least, Or at least I don't know what they are. But yeah, I've tried so many things. I mean, the whole snake thing... I guess I can just try going back there again and seeing if something different is going to happen with a snake, but... First of all, what does this sign even say? Okay, this time, I'm sure I went the right way. Oh, come on. Hey! Uh, let go! Can't... Please... In case of snake, blow horn... Oh, that's what You're it says. Welcome, Curtis. Okay, so the snake responds to the horn. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. Is there something we can do to prevent that, though? That's what I'm wondering, because we can go over here. Okay, this time, I'm sure oh, I'm the right I guess, never mind. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's a snake over here. Okay, so do not go that way. I'm just way. skipping Got that. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to go over here to the tree. So if I show him the stool, will he get mad? Is, is that what we're supposed to do? Or I'm sorry this video is not exactly all that exciting. 
I'm just kind of stuck right now. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep... Oh, we got... I didn't mean to skip any of that. Oh, I guess we made him cry. I'm... I didn't mean to skip any of that, guys. I, my finger just hit the space bar there. Wow. It's getting thicker every second. Strong Let's pick it up. Stuff, kid. Hmm. Don't it's already it. soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. It's too thick to use in the spray can. Okay, um... What can we do with this? Hmm. It's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. I'll let you get back. Do we have to do that again? You can still see the grain of the wood. <gasps> oh, he threw it up. Okay. That's what he did. So, do we have to do it just like hmm, super fast? It's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. Oh, I see. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? <laughs> I hate to do this to this tree, but he, he's really funny, though. You can still see the grain of the wood. There we go. Okay, so now we got sap. I have no idea what that's useful for, but at least we got some sap. Okay, so now we, we've done something with the tree. Okay, I feel a little bit more accomplished now. See, the, the thing with a snake is that I can't interact with a snake before he comes out and just wraps himself around me. I mean, is he, I have a hard time believing that he's just there strictly for humor's sake. And there's nothing to do over here? I guess not. Okay. So does Curtis need sap? Hey, what has one thumb and a bucket of tree bar? This gal. Did it mention me? The barf? Never mind. Curtis, that is disgusting. Also, I guess Shell Mound might be our next stop. See, I, I know it's probably not the best reasoning, but I've noticed in this game so far that typically when somebody needs something done, you actually do have dialogue that you can uh, talk to uh, them about. Whereas no one in Mayorloft has any dialogue. I mean, maybe that's going to change if we make progress in Shell Mound, but for now, I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing anything we can do up there. Okay, the mayor guy. Does he need tree sap stuff? Maybe we can ruin their dresses with tree sap. I don't know. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Oh! Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. So that's what that's for. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? Awesome. I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. All right. Here comes a wave. I can't look. Come on. What I tell you? Yes. Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. Great. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. Okay. So I take it the sap's gone, right? Okay. So was the stool used only to get the tree to vomit all the sap? I mean, I don't know. Okay, let me see if he knows anything about the art. Any idea what this is? Please, unless it's Mog Chothra, I don't even have time to look. Okay. Go back to being selfish. Alright, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice. 
You guys like art? Um, we are art. So you should like this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. So, up here... Let me listen to the riddle again. Here she comes again. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Well. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. That is just such an odd riddle. I... And the thing is, we can't answer it right now. I mean, there's no choice, so obviously there's something we have to do to get to the solution, and then we can go back there. I'm just trying to think in terms of, like, a sequence of events so the game would require you to go through to make it work. I know I'm being really technical about this, but... I, I like to think about how video games are structured. Somehow this has to have a purpose, too, doesn't it? Um... Wait, can we get tear gas from here? Come to me, old chum. Aha! I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Okay, so can we try giving it to them? Let's try this. Okay, let, let's just totally try this. One thing I, I haven't mentioned yet that I really like in this game is how things are highlighted when you can interact with them. That is really cool. Shh. Here she comes again. I've got the riddle solution. Fish cuts. Hmm. I suppose they could be fish in their prime, and the ocean could be a pit. But it's not hidden. And baby fish don't rise out of it. That would be super creepy. Good effort there, though. So wait, we can't give them their gun back? Huh. Okay, well somehow I'm guessing we're going to do something with this in the next video.